Hello, hello, Rebel! Round of 16 playoff action coming at you. We've got things that make you go, uh, and uh, the Royal Rumble boys coming up. I'm Steak Mittens, and I'm here with Shadora and Holes. Hey, friends. What's up? Uh, yeah, and we've got a what is surely to be a terrifying bloody match um, coming up. Uh, look at this team. This is Full Metal's things that make you go, uh, and this is a 23-10 Nurgle team. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't disappoint. Uh, yeah. Name. It's, it's a 23-10 Nurgle team. It's disgusting. Yes, yeah, just three, three block, claw, mighty blow, guard, tackle players, except one of them is strength instead of tackle, because, of course, um, we've got always the ever-present boxers from your mom, sure hands, plus agi, plus agi, block, dodge, um, surfing pestigore, strip ball pestigore, kick rotter. This whole team is gross. The kick rotter is minus strength. I'll be curious to see if he decides to fire him or not. We'll find out, I guess. I think he's not too sad about that utility piece going strength busted. You're really mm -hmm. just using him to foul and for the kick. Eh, I'd keep him around, especially for this match. And another gross Snurgle team, except this one is 2040 instead of 23 something, is A Grain's Nurgle. Um, the Royal Rumble Boys. Who's yeah, this, this team is also pretty great. Just not as good in Warriors, but they have a claw power, which is really big. Yeah, there isn't a, there's a there, there aren't the three, you know, strength or uh, block, mighty blow, claw, tackle pieces. Um, but there is the the claw palm, mighty blow, uh, Pestigore, at John Cena, who we we have seen before, and we've also seen the greatest Nurgle warrior in existence, the Undertaker, like absolutely just frustrate Andy's team to death. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, definitely inferior Nurgle Warriors, but this killer is is much better, though he does lack the Agi-5 Pestigore elf nonsense that... Uh... Yeah, I mean, like, when it comes down to Nurgle versus Nurgle, uh, like, it's the team with the better skills, I think, is going to win, right? And there's, be there's, there's one really good... There's, like, two or three really good pieces on Egrain's team, but there's, like eight really good pieces on full metals team um the team with better injury dice but, i mean game? i mean basically yeah but i feel like yeah. with more there's four claw or whatever four claw mighty blow on metals and there's three here i mean one, this one is palm but there isn't also a stupid agi pestigore so so we're, we're law of large numbering it <sighs> oh i mean that's what i think i mean i think i give this to metal but it's hard to like it could easily go either way because nurgle versus nurgle is whoever breaks armor first right yeah, I mean, it yeah, could come down to the coin flip to see who goes first and starts causing damage first. Uh, yeah, like Gerber just says, who, whoever causes the early damage. Um, um, the, the ball carrying on the strength four Pestigore is is certainly nice. Um, it does make it much harder to stack, and the agi ups are maybe less impactful in a Nurgle off than they would be in some other matchups. I mean, uh, it's still useful in terms of do dodging, picking up the ball in tackle zones. Um, yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff. Strength Force is not going to be as important in this game because the uh, Pestigores have horns, which is who he's yeah. going to be sacking with. And I, I agree with Gerber, is that Metal also has a bench, which is a big deal because he can throw zombies at claw players without too much worry. Uh, you can also foul easier, I think, at least slightly safer. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> uh, Agrain only has three rotters for the line. If he loses many of the holes, he's going to have to put more developed players, and that's going to be, uh, it's going to be painful. Yeah. Two babies, no. a whiz, and a merc rotter. So there we go. You filled up the bench a little bit, and a bribe from oh. the bank. Wow, that is a lot of uh, inducements. Uh, they're loading in now, so I guess we should get started. Yeah, I'm uh, waiting for the game to pop up because they're, if they're doing inducements, I can't get in yet. But we should, they'll spam the search button, and we'll find our way in shortly. The routers are going to be a big deal, too, because as Mel says all the time, he uses his routers as a blade of armor for his warriors. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I almost I almost it, expected him to pick two routers up rather than one, but one is certainly up. better than zero. Here yeah, we go. Is up. This is going to be a really smelly pitch. Yeah, yeah James, Steak always calls routers zombies because he hates being right. Yep. 
Well, here we go. It's the rain. So we got Nurgle in the rain, which uh, kind of favors metal a bit with that edgy player. Yeah, certainly yeah. does. Agility 5 just doesn't care about the rain. Um, so which perspective are you guys watching it from so that we're on the same page? I am from A grains currently. As am I. Yep, me too. Let's just stick okay. with A grains. I want to see who won the toss in case something spicy happened there. But I imagine you go for the kill even over the rain. Yeah. I mean, who cares about the ball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the Royal Rumble was predictably chose to receive. Look at that bench, though. That is, that is a hearty bench. It's what happens when you don't care about the bloat. Yeah, I mean, just your Nurgle, embrace the bloat. Papa Nurgle yeah. grants bloat to everybody. Keeping two Pestigors off is slightly annoying sometimes, but you kind of have to as Nurgle if you want to have a blade of players to protect you. Um, you got to drop somebody for those zombies, and it's going to be Pestigors over Chaos Warriors. Uh, and yeah, they don't matter so, so much on uh, defense, I guess. Yeah, so he's leaving out his uh, Frenzy player and his kind of pseudo killer. He's and got two other. Keeping... Well, he doesn't actually have a killer Pestigor, really. He's got four killer Nurgle Warriors, though? Or three? Yeah. That's true. So they do serve a different purpose. Yes. Going real far back, so if he wants to come in for this uh, Nurgle Warrior Blitz, he's going to force him to commit to it a little bit. Yeah, well, this is going to be a very much a game of avoiding attrition slash trying to cause attrition, so anything you can do to gain, to save players um, is going to be big. Like, I, I have a strong feeling that one, one of these teams is just going to no longer exist after this game. My money is on it being a green team, sadly. Yeah, I'm also surprised he left the surfing thread out. I guess he wanted to keep the sacker and the recovery option, but uh, he's yeah. going to lose a bit of pitch control by not having the frenzy on defense. Look at those inducements, though. Like, it's so dumb. Wizard, bribe, <laughs> two babes. Yeah, I extra mean, uh, rotter. Like, have my money. I look forward to no KOs, all Kaz. As inevitably happens when you have two babes. Yep. Yeah, you can get re-dead, Nocturnal. It's just, re it's just logical. Best, you just you kill an opponent's player, and then they turn into a rotter, and then that rotter dies. You know, they're re-dead. Well, no, so that means they came back to life as a rotter, so Nurgle's rot brought them back to life. Yeah. Oh, you know, because you can't kill players with regen. You can't give Nurgle's rots to players with regen, so... You well, could think... kill a ghoul, though. You could Nurgle's rot a ghoul, I think. Yes. I think you can also, um, for necromancers, you can get rotters. So you can I have someone... I thought you someone... couldn't necromancer anything with decay. But um, I might be wrong. There's no... Yeah, I'm not sure. No, there's no way to... Any of the teams that have access to decay don't have access to an apo of any kind. They can induce Igor, though, which lets you reroll regens. Which is kind of the same. Okay, so you can get zombies from rotters, but you can't get rotters from zombies. Yeah. Yes, because Nurgle's rot is different than the necromancer thing, where you regen or when you uh, raise dead. Also, like you can use raised deaded zombies in the game that they're raised, whereas you don't get rotters until the end of the game. Yeah, but you can get multiple rotters in one game. Yep, yeah, but you can't use them right away. Exciting talk to just that. before. <laughs> Exc exciting I mean, talk before we can keep We could off. be talking about cockroach milk. Well, yeah. Don't, please. <laughs> I, I don't want that to start again. Look, I'm telling so, you, it's, it's meme bingo. I just have to fill the square. That's going to be a touchback. Actually. How do we apo a skink in Nurgle versus Nurgle, though? Are any of these rotters X skinks? That's so weird. What? Um, that was a shallow kick that just went horribly wrong. Well, he had kicks. Yeah. So he was using the kick skill, and he was trying to keep it shallow, and he was like... His options were just really bad. I think that was just unlucky, honestly. That is a ball straight into the hands of the uh, Prestigar, which is not what you want to see in the rain. He really wanted to hope for that uh, one in four fail. Yeah, that's one good. For, that's really good for Hulk Hogan and Agreen. I mean, it was either a misclick or some really, really bad 
kick rolls? I don't. I don't think it can be that bad, though. I don't. Don't. I don't think kick can cause an auto turnover. Dong. <laughs> or at least one that lands outside. One First down. Yep. There's a KO. Kickoff uh, event was cheering fans, uh, giving the Royal Rumble boys another reroll. One KO so far. We still get another two shots, at least. Impressive that, that the Royal Rumble boys have more fan factor than the uh, the Nurgle, the other Nurgle. The Nurgle are better than the Nurgle. The Nurgle have more fan factor than the Nurgle. The smaller <clears throat> Nurgle have more fan factor than the bigger Nurgle. Everyone wants to see the little guy win. Well, we can get another three die with the um, Andre the Giant on the rudder if we want to take that. I just need to bring in another assist, which I imagine you do. Like you probably yeah. don't. You don't want to. It's it's it sucks giving up the blitz, but you don't want to blitz one of those Nurgle warriors because you have no way of getting your guy back, and then he's just no, getting you, punched. Yeah, you're just gonna blitz the rotter, I think. Well, I think you try to hit it with the beast. Well, the beast has mighty blow, but does not have claw, so you probably yeah. would prefer to hit it with the pestigore and go for the. Uh, I suppose that's true. Because you can always follow up with a three die if the two die claw blitz fails. Yeah, that's true. If you're not going to blitz any of the other guys, you might as well use it on the rotter, I suppose. Yeah, uh, it was smart by Metal to set up this far back to kind of deny a easy blitz on a Nurgle Warrior. Yeah, you're just like throw, you're throwing away your rotters, but he has a giant bench, so he doesn't really care. Yeah, he does not care at all about rotters. There's the assist. I don't like that position for it though because now he's just gonna get punched yeah. in the face by a claw mighty bow warrior um yeah at least it's his wrestle piece so there's a chance that it it brings down the opponent but well, i mean your, piece. i mean your other option was the kick dirty player rotter and you probably want to use him to like you want to keep him around to stomp on one of those warriors when they go down and yeah he likes to use the beast instead of starting with the claw no knockdown very though probably means that rotter's getting blitzed yep I would expect so, but you don't really have the pieces to protect Ric Flair, so that means Ric Flair is almost certainly eating a Blitz next turn. Hero Rotter. On his yep. feet. Yep. I mean, it's Ric Flair or the Big Show, I'd say. Whoever Metal wants to murder first. Big Show is out of Blitzing range for this Claw Mighty Blow Warrior, so it's probably Ric Flair. Yeah, it's a more valuable yeah. piece Yeah, well, it's the Big Show... Yes, Ben. <laughs> so that's his entrance this. music. God, you guys, it's like you don't know anything about wrestling. <laughs> I appreciate Also, this. if you if you blitz the Pestagore, you don't risk the, uh, I'm too ugly to be hit in the face. Yeah, and you can also defend that warrior much better than if you blitz uh, the Big Show. I'd, I'd, I'd hit Ric Flair, I think, here. I mean, I would just I would step I mean, I'd, forward I'd two Rick squares with the ex-girlfriend and punch Ric Flair in the face. how that man has aged? Meow. Sorry, were you trying to talk about something? I was going to say I'd step two squares forward and I'd hit hit him with uh, the ex-girlfriend. Oh, he's just going to go, go for the zombie. Go for the rotter. Yeah. Oh, dirty player. It is an important piece to remove. Unfortunately, the ex-girlfriend does not cooperate. He also, because of where that rotter was, he would have needed to bring in a... Uh, no, he wouldn't have. He could have no, just come from the other side. Yeah. I, I think I agree that the kick dirty player rotter... Uh, Especially when you're on defense, is a priority target. And with two Bryden utility play. skills, he would lose in one hit, right? So, I fully approve of EA bitching in chat. Just so we're aware, fully. Approve. I missed whatever everyone is bitching about. So they're bit. I mean, they're they're bitching about EA being EA, which I agree with. No matter really what you're talking about. Uh, I think there was some E3 drama that I missed out on, though. Uh. So he's just setting up defensively, trying to keep his Nurgle warriors safe together. Again, just giving uh, Agrain tons of space, saying, if you want to come in here to blitz me, you can, but you're going to be overcommitting for it. So, Yeah, I mean, this, this Neither is... Neither team really interested in stopping the score. <laughs> this is not a game about scoring. This is a game about trying to remove the opponent's players, because that way they won't remove your players. Yeah. This, this is like a weird standoff, like who's going to break first. The The scoring will happen in the second half, I imagine, and the first half is going to be a weird standoff where they circle around each other and try to make the other person attack. 
It's a complicated mating dance. Now we see the Nurgle players puff out their foliage to try and attract a mate. I, I don't think I want to see anything Nurgle related mating. So the colorful bo the colorful boils <laughs> are designed to draw the eye of female. This Nurgle may be players. worse than cockroach milk. The male values the volume of uh, bile that he can produce. We see a claw mighty blow hit on the ex-girlfriend, but the no, ex-girlfriend is, is just... fine. Now, that Pestigore and Ric Flair are both extremely exposed. Unless Which he starts running we, up the right side. What we were side. saying, if he wanted to commit to this blitz, he had to kind of overextend a bit. And this is where Full Metal is sad that he does not have his frenzy player on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, this is what he gave up by putting it on the sidelines. This is pitch control that he uh, yeah, I mean, you just put can't scare people. Guard people piece. The biggest thing about a frenzy piece is that it uh, scares people away from this sort of play. And you just stick that guard piece on top of uh, Ric Flair and frenzy him off the pitch. If we're getting to it, Herring's word, chill out. <laughs> you and Gerber, man. That sounds like a really that sounds like a really bad superhero superhero. You would be in metal. It's like <laughs> with the powers of baby food. Baby food and uh, Gerber is a baby baby food brand. <laughs> but it's it's not Gerber, it's Gerber. Close enough. That's Dong. another knocked out router. Dong. A blade of rotters. It's like heat shielding for Nurgle. Yeah. Mighty Blow doing a thing. So numbers advantage to A grain. Not terribly surprising on offense, but uh, nope. nothing and serious loss for Metal yet. No, two KOs, mm -hmm. and we still have a massive bench to replace them whenever uh, this drive ends. And he's going to have metal. trouble mm -hmm. covering this uh, this blitz on Triple H off. I would imagine we're going to see something come in here on him. With the Frenzy piece, to be fair to Metal, if he didn't, uh, if he left a Frenzy piece on the pitch, then he's losing his dirty player kicker and he wants that dirty player on the pitch. Or he's putting Warriors on the line who are just going to get clawed and fouled instantly. So yeah. it sucks leaving the Frenzy piece off, but I think it's a great play here. Just because well, otherwise that's... I wonder if he did it because of the rain. If like that made him think, oh, maybe there's a chance this ball pops loose. And if it was a bit of greed almost to say, I'm going to keep this piece around in case I can turn the ball over. But it does give up, like we said, a ton of um, it was pitch the control. Kick by not keep frenzy. Yeah, he had the shallow kick. He was planning on trying to get an early steal if he had agility 5 and Veracular. But it yeah. just didn't work out for him. So he banked on that, especially with the rain, and it kind of backfired. So That's what I was going to say, Herring Zerd, is that I would have left the Agi 5 guy off to keep him safe for your drive, and then you keep the, you put the Frenzy piece on instead and everything. You still get the kick piece. Now you don't have, like, the ball recovery option, but, like, with your opponent having a wizard and stuff, like, you're not likely to get the sort of pop-the-ball-free sort of play here. Oh, we're going one versus GFIs foul. into a one assist foul with dirty player though. I, but that I don't is know if I like a this. Eight plus foul. Yeah. Oh uh, no, a nine plus. So yeah, no surprise that failed. Yeah, I really. He don't has like a bribe. He has a bribe, sure, but that's just that could easily just waste a bribe on nothing. Yeah, I mean, and you give away a free claw, mighty blow hit, which metal takes. He's good. Yeah, he he so doesn't. It was a blitz. Down. He's gonna take one of those every turn anyway. Yes, but like this whole play, sorry, is what I meant. The fact that he overextended to hit the ex girlfriend. No. But he's fine, so it doesn't. I don't. I don't hate that foul. Like with how this is going to be a weird like dance off where they're trying not to get too close to each other. You're not going to have very many opportunities for a foul, and since you have the bribe and dirty player, like get a shot. I would take it. I, I can't imagine a situation and like unless things start going terribly your way and you're removing players, you're not going to get better fouls. And if you're removing players, you don't need the fouls anyway. Going a bit more aggressive now, trying to protect the bearded aunt from a retaliatory hit. Keeping the edgy five as far away from the action as possible. Yeah, but it's like, so if yes. you're going to have the edgy five player on the pitch, you're spending your time keeping him safe. And, like, 
that's not great. I think you'd rather have the I, frenzy piece. I think piece. I agree. I, I mean, I, I'd rather have the frenzy piece, but I will always make the most aggressive pitch control decision. So, the, I mean, I guess the argument is if you can pop the ball free, it doesn't really matter how many tackle zones it's in if you've got edgy five dodge. So metal is just giving up the entire pitch here in favor of protecting his players right now. It seems that way. Yeah, and if he had the frenzy piece on, he could have at least guaranteed a removal with a surf. Hmm. What he's saying maybe is you can score, but I'm gonna kill these two players. <laughs> I think that's what he's saying, Three but it, I'm, but if he's gonna go with that strategy, then having the frenzy piece would have made it easier, right? This is quite the gamble. I mean, obviously he can't score this turn. This is Nurgle, but he is gonna be able to cage up in this corner, and it's gonna be hard to dislodge him and prevent a score. So I guess he's not going to try. But he is saying, A grain, you have to do something about this or I'm gonna serve both of these players. I mean he the other thing is where these if he surrenders the score, him. he then just goes on offense and he gets his own five turns of charging forward, trying to punch as many Nurgle in the face as possible. Mm -hmm. Um it's less about the like the two one grind in terms of force the scorey team to score fast so that I have lots of time and more about the two one grind in that this way I get more turns on offense and I get to punch you easier. Right, but he's got a wizard. You're not gonna be able to reliably score. It's, it's not about the score. Not... It's about having more turns to hit him, like on your terms. It turns out you do need to score to win the game, though. Yeah, but it's overtime. If he can b burn the wizard in the first half and then spend eight turns scoring in the second half and go to overtime, like, I think Metal's happy with that. Yeah. Metal yeah, just wants to kill everything right now because you can't win if you have no players. Yeah, he's just going to play yeah. for... I, I totally imagine him playing for attrition and for overtime, like trying to get to overtime um, with his opponent having few players so that he can just win. And if you yeah. can burn the wizard this half, that's a big step towards that. Uh, I see what you're saying, and I, I see. I, I don't think you need to commit all four players to a, a screen here, but I mean, if you commit just two players and the ball carry, you're only down one. I mean, metal might not win this as solidly as he thinks, but these two exposed players from the earlier uh, overextension are a huge problem for a grade. You're right. Yeah, like, he's got at least three hits right now, and four. You can't with the blitz. get out of here without a. You have to. Get, you can do a three plus dodge into a blitz on the rotter with this pestigore to kind of open yourself an escape route, but that's a. It's a bit of dice you have to throw. Uh, no, I think this is fine. Um, thanks for the follow there. Um, big easy TP. These are two valuable players too. Veracular not a bit right now, but for next half he's gonna be huge. And the dirty player is the only dirty player Ray Green has. It's also kick. Also kick, true. If you can even remove one of them, he's gonna be in a much better position for next half. Yeah, like I'm I'm with Herringsard and, and Gerber totally what I was talking about. You know, Metal is just gonna go for attrition here. If he can get Four, four, a fourth, four turn or five turn touchdown for his opponent. That's great because then he can threaten to score and ideally try to bait out the wizard, and then we aim for Ooh, overtime. Appearance re-rolled. That was a down. very dangerous Claw palm hit on the ancient stepmother, one of the block guard Nurgle warriors. That Not was one of the double best warriors, but when he follows, oh, and he piles on. Um, you foul that. Yeah. No avail. Where's the dirty player? I mean, it's over. Uh, it's way down there. It's out of range. You can get um, there with one GFI. You take that. You blitz off uh, Dwayne yeah. Rock Johnson, and you foul the crap out yeah, of Johnson. Yeah, that's fair. I would take it. Now, Give John Cena the old five knuckle with shuffle. These players, though, is he just giving away these serfs? Johnny Lynch, me. Thanks for the follow. He might just try some stupid dodges or something. I mean, yeah, if they're on the floor, they're not oh, getting you, uh, where you, where you surfed. Go? <laughs> Anywhere else. I wouldn't hate marking with a dirty player. Putting those extra players up there kind of helps, but Metal only really needs a few assists to make that a worthwhile foul with a dirty player. It's true. Yeah, it's going to be hard to protect this from... Uh, I mean, it's only AV8, and you've got a dirty player's um, rotter to come up here. So. And this is going to become the, hey, you're about to score? That's fine. I'm just going to punch so many of your guys and make you want nope, to score. Game. Dodge, and there is no reroll for that because nope. you rolled a foul appearance. That's The foul appearances, I love that skill. Either it ruins your opponent's day, 
or they burn a reroll, and either way is such a huge win for you. Yeah. I love foul appearance. It's like my favorite skill in the game. And there goes Finally, your metal gets back into the uh, attrition game. KO's it's... the rotter. Fortunately, it's a KO, so that kick is probably coming back, considering there are two babes. Um, but still, right? Yes. No That's more true. dirty player for this half anyway, or this uh, drive. That was just There's a rookie. A Dwayne the Rock Johnson stays up. Mighty push. And he backs up for the assist. We're definitely going to see a beefy yeah. foul on Johnson. Oh, for sure. We get easily get another assist there, and then here comes the. Uh, I imagine we're going to get the one GFI rotter. First, yeah. first question is, I guess, where do you put the beast and uh, the ex girlfriend? To protect the rest of your players, definitely. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you just move them first, and then you go for the yeah. foul. Um, probably stand up the tipsy sister in law because I mean, why not? He's going to get punched, but it'll tie up a Nurgle warrior, and it's fine. You might try and dodge away with her. Yeah, I, I wouldn't give away a free mighty blow hit on a rotter. Yeah, I, uh, I Ooh, would if it's the keeping the GFI I is good. If I necessary. Boot. Nice on the stun. Not nice punished. Chance. No. He's going to get stomped on next turn though, and the turn after that, and so he's off, bitch. Yeah, I mean, Agrian will be fine with an early score because he has the Wiz, but then Metal tries to bait out the Wiz in his first half, and if he does, then that's a big win for Metal because he can just play for overtime at that point and rely on his like slightly better Nurgle team to maybe get out to out attrition Agrian. Um, but if that Wizard still remains into half two, then suddenly that changes his game plan. So he really wants to bait out the Wizard this half if he can. Oh, he nope, not scoring. Okay, <laughs> the first second he was going to yeah. just go for it. He's gonna move up a bit. Say fine, I'll go on the LOS. I want to save John Cena, but no, nope, we're stolen. It. Where's John Cena? I can't see him. John Cena is the, the one that's stunned on the ground. Getting you guys are so bad at this. Oh, I'm sorry. God damn it! <laughs> Why don't you have the sound clip? That's really all we need. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Where's the Undertaker? Because he's a hero. The Undertaker is safe in the back right now. He is the Claw Warrior, uh, about halfway up Metal's pitch. Metal would have a pretty hard time getting the two dice here, I think. There he is, Undertaker. Cake is disappointed that we failed you. I know, you guys are so <laughs> bad at this. Oh, marking up a Claw Mighty Bullet piece. Is are we going a for a blitz on the blow. bearded aunt? I don't know. He needs one more assist. He's got one more assist. Oh, he's going in with this Claw Mighty Blow uh, Festive Guard, the Triple H. Yeah. Makes sense. Too Being ugly. Oh, foul appearance. I love oh. foul appearance so much. You gotta reroll it. Ooh, oh, man. now you can't reroll that. Your Dom just gonna have a great time. That is an incredibly bad result. Fiction hosting with 12 viewers. Welcome along, Fiction viewers. Two round of 16 playoff action. It's a Nurgle off. And it is uh, not going a grain's way currently. Yeah, I mean... yeah burning any rerolls on foul appearance uh, stings. Roll burning two in two turns is... Ugh. I mean, Even though though extra one. that's why I love foul appearance. Like, it's not a skill you'd want to take, but getting it for free on the Nurgle Warriors is so nice. Just because either, like, either your opponent doesn't get to hit you, which is either going to screw up the rest of their turn, or they just don't hit you, and those are both fine. Or they spend a reroll on it, which is also fine. Even if it only happens one in six times, like, oh man, it feels so good when it happens to you. Yeah, Gabriel has a point. Uh, Metal's not going to be able to force the score next turn unless he just rolls some incredible dice. It's it's less yeah. about threatening the ball for Metal right now, I think, and more about, like, look at all the claw hits I'm about to give you. Like, at least three or four. Um, so it's like, I'm just going to start crunching your players unless you score. Like, to how, how much do you value these Nurgle Warriors and stuff? I think I think it's more of the attrition um, score force rather than the ball pressure score force. Yeah, I mean this is not really easy for metal to. Uh, oh, Ex-wife immediately does not. 
comply. We're going to see another good kick on John Cena here, I expect. Yeah, he's going to kick in the head. Take her Just claw, mighty blow blitz first. Take and I imagine he's going to commit some guard down here to get some good blocks in with the bearded aunt and the ex girlfriend. I wouldn't hate just shoving the ex-girlfriend in uh, one of those slots next to a beard on. We're going to take one of the assists off instead, though. I imagine temporarily. Finds but... a pal. This is Claw Mighty Blow. Just a so, Like, lots of armor breaks, but surprisingly few um, perms. Or like... Yeah, this is not the last Nurgle versus Nurgle playoff game I saw. Yeah. Or Nurgle versus Chaos, was it? Whichever one had the uh, incredibly high body count. I mean, there's a lot of armor breaks, but they're all stuns and KOs. That's all oh, made going for the beast. Doesn't find it. I really hate a reroll here. Especially no, since the beast mind. doesn't He's have a block. Sees the, sees the reroll, but does not get rewarded with an armor break. Cat. Is Melon being a dick? Yes. Oh, foul. Sent off with no armor break. Oof. That sucks. The, the box of the plastic models I bought today is behind me, and she just jumped in it and is scrunching around in my box full of plastic models. Thankfully, they're still in the box, but I'm going to go move her. <laughs> Get out. That's a, that's a stroke of luck for Agrain. He can now dodge uh, He can now dodge out John Cena, much to his uh, relief, I expect. Or even just blitz of John Cena and hit uh, BD spray from his sister. A wrestle strip ball. That's, that's true. Cool. You will need to bring in an assist, but that's not too tough. There's only one guard piece on John Cena currently. I just have the rotter in there. Make sound. <laughs> She's not happy. <laughs> no, that was not a happy cat sound. She's tangled up in my headphones. Go away. Uh -oh. <laughs> Quality stream. Quality stream content. I mean, but how is he going to force it? The screen is pretty tough. I mean, he could have blitzed it off and tried to move players in there, but I mean, Nurgle are not renowned for their high movement plays. And he really wanted to foul John Cena, so I think he committed to that more than he committed to uh, forcing the score. Yeah, removing John Cena would be a huge deal in this game right now. Because we're about to see him punch this best Gordon face. And it's almost nothing. like Metal is resigned to the fact that this is going to be 1-0 uh, at halftime and just wants to cause as much damage as possible in the meantime. I think we that... see another piling on. He has not. Oh, I guess the dirty player is out. You're less afraid now. Yeah, Metal only has one rounder now, and he's like, way uh, off the side. The injury dice from both players are only stuns and chaos. Metal never stood up his rounder bed sitting on the line of scrimmage last turn. Nope. But we all just completely forgot about it. Uh, so it would seem. The I mean, tipsy I, sister -in -law. I, I pointed the tipsy sister-in-law out, and then he just never did anything with it. No one believes you. You were fighting with the cat. No, I was talking he's... about how he could stand up the tipsy sister-in-law, and you guys were like, maybe he's going to dodge, and then he just never did anything. Oh, that was last turn, though. Yeah. Thrilling stuff, guys. <laughs> You don't have a great block down here, but you could maybe try to get one on. You could bring in one more assist to get a, a hit on the die on the bearded aunt. It's not great. You could do a GFI to make it a two die. I don't think it's worth it. Because then you're leaving yourself super exposed and it is, it is incredibly committed ball. and yeah. Uh, really takes away from your screen. The longer you stall this out, the less likely it is for Metal to score. I mean, three turns with Nurgle, or four turns with Nurgle, I guess it's going to be three, uh, versus a wizard is already pretty pretty tough ask. But uh, It does look like he might be positioning to bring in this uh, Claw Mighty Blow Guard piece. He could he could get it. He could have gotten some assist, enough assists to make a two-die on the ex-wife, but that's with Claw, but it's probably not worth it, because if it fails, uh, that's kind of bad. You have to do a GFI with a guard piece and put that guard piece on Claw Mighty Blow to do it, though. Uh, no, you could put the Big Show next to the ex-wife and the ancient stepmother, and then you could have put the um, the edge on the bottom half of um, the ex-wife and then blitzed with uh, the Undertaker. Yeah, he, blitzed with, yeah. he blitzed with John Cena. Oh, right. Cena. I didn't see that. I was dealing with the cat. Doesn't look like that's happening, though. Nope. Looks like he is going to 
do a whole lot of nothing. You might take a one die on the mother-in-law, but that's pretty dangerous. But it's so tempting with that, die. with that, uh, with that niggle, rather. Especially he's still got two rerolls. That's also dangerous. reducing the claw mighty blow hits. All I need is a push. Oh, he takes it. He just gets a push, though. There are too many skills on this pitch. Like I have it set to only the leveled skills, and you just can't see anything anyway. Yeah, it doesn't help. Like, look look at this. What if I put all of them on? Do you guys want to play like this? How does that sound? That looks awful. You can play with the names on. Yeah, we're going to hit the beast again. Or no, that's the warrior. We're hitting the warrior. Yeah, warrior yeah, still called t boss and going down. Armor break. There yeah, we go. Dead F. Nurgle warrior. No apple. First no blood is drawn. Yep, no regen. No regen. That hurts. Oh, Oof. man. Well, we were talking about how this wasn't bloody, and then the first injury is just a death. Not Stone Cold now we Steve have, Austin. Uh, no warrior taking claw mighty blow. But we see another. The fucking riot gates are in the way, so I can't look at Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here's another, another armor break. break. Oh, it's oh. Um. Well, it wasn't one of the key Nurgle warriors. This is kind of the killer it's, uh, Nurgle warrior. Ta tackle mighty blow block. Um, it's still frustrating to lose a Nurgle warrior because SPP oh, wow. is so hard to come by on Nurgle warriors. That really That's his second three, best three sixteen loss. Three sixteen. Stone cold. Got stone cold stunnered. To death. I mean, it's it's a strength four piece down, right? Oh, That's a big deal. remembered about the tipsy sister-in-law in time. Nope, never mind. Wow. Reroll it. He's going for a foul, yeah. Let's going see if we can find foul him. on Triple H. Oh, no, almost stun. More armor breaks. No, like we're, I, I have a feeling this game we're gonna see stuns, KOs, and deaths. There are gonna be no like no cas, at all. <laughs> no, no cas, yeah. just deaths and knockouts. can do a pretty good retaliatory blitz on this ancient stepmother, but at this point your your beast and your killer are in serious trouble. One of the killers. Yes, the second best killer. I mean, I'm not surprised that Metal committed that reroll. No, not he's, at all. He's decided it's going to be 1-0 at halftime, and he just wants to kill as much as humanly possible. Yeah, and that was a good foul opportunity. It was a three-assist foul. Um, he has two. Mm -hmm. He had two rerolls. There's three turns left. Um, I I like it, honestly. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, it no. fits with his plan, certainly. The Ancient Stepmother is going to take Claw and Bomb. The Ancient Stepmother is going down to Claw Bomb. Do we, do we pile on, though? Or... Man. Absolutely. A-Grain's uh, AR armor dice have not been kind, though. That's like Distorter, thanks for the follow. You can get another pretty good foul on John Cena now. Just blitz off the big show. Yeah. That's a blitz you were already looking to take I anyway. I expect he's going to do it if he does not score. Yeah. The um, question is whether Agrain gives up at this point and scores to save himself some attrition. Yeah, we're going to blitz off the big show with one of those Claw Nurgle Warriors, and then we're just going to stomp oh. on John Cena. But first, we're going to see a foul on B.O. Spray from the sister. Nope. That's a fail. Well... Metal, this is where Metal is sad. He has only one foul to do per turn. Yep. Yeah. And Mary's Blitz on Big Show. Instant Blitz. Finds the knockdown. Claw. Armor break. There's a break. Oh, he's yeah. dead. Dead. I called it. Only deaths. Only deaths. Only oh, deaths. <laughs> Big Show and Stone Cold Steve Austin are Also regen failure. <laughs> I was about to say that Metal insta locks the Blitz with the strength plus strength Nurgle Warrior as fast as I do with Dr. Robert, but now I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> that is a huge loss for Agri. Only death! In the grim Better. darkness of the far future, there is only death. Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. I mean, it was like a 40k reference, I guess. Now we gear up for a foul on John Cena. 
Metal is not going to pressure a ball at all. He's just going to murder a Grain's team. Yep, and uh, his plan is undeniably working. Yeah, two dead warriors is pretty sweet. Here comes the foul. Kick him in. Kick him in the junk. Kick him in the dead. Don't kill John Cena, please. Oh, that's Ooh. John Cena that's has taken guys. off two people. John Cena has t John Cena has passively removed more people than he's actively removed. <laughs> <laughs> so if Metal doesn't get enough wake ups here, um, he could have no bench going into the next half. He's got five players out, and if there aren't any wake-ups, he will have zero bench, but still be at full strength. He'll because that... <laughs> his it's team is paint... dumb. It's hard to paint this as a bad picture for metal, no matter how you spell it. <laughs> if none of those There's... KOs back, he doesn't have a bench anymore, but he still has a full if strength no KO team. back, M full bench? Still another turn of hits. He could lose more players. And I still expect to see another death. More death. Yep. I expect no warriors left on this team at the end of this game. Wrestle with Jeff. Prepare for death. <laughs> yeah, it's two KOs, so it's not like good. Ex girlfriend with a killer, either a killer, killer, or Nurgle warrior, the Undertaker, who clearly needs his shot in the game. I think you take that. Yeah, the Undertaker hasn't been taking too many hits. I think that's the reason we're losing here. We don't have that beast. Yeah. He's got to throw some people off cages. Let's go. Come on. In 1996, when The Undertaker See, I, threw I mankind can, off a cage. Move. I can do it. In the Hell in a Cell, straight through the announcer's table. <laughs> the Undertaker is for dodging, apparently. <laughs> I mean, he is. He dances like well. a... Dances like a butterfly. Ooh, stupid beast. That's a shame. Well, that Four was a four plus really stupid, as he is yeah. all alone. Andre He's probably Jones. better off on the ground, though. I mean, you say that. I guess Metal's foul is actually... Uh, what, what did you oh, miss, Herringsard? Oh. Uh, well, you missed what's well, hard to see because of the security gate, but those are two dead Nurgle Warriors. Yeah. yeah. Dead. Two is, is too dead. That is the third... Foul appearance that Agrain has had to reroll, two of which then resulted in one in nines, leaving him based up against Claw. So uh, that's the sort of game this has been so far. Yeah, those Warriors are going to have a bad day. Another Here's foul it. on the Wrestle piece. Got um, him. Never can. Well, I, I called it at the start. We're only going to see knockouts, stuns, and oh, deaths. Let it end off, yep. That's a bribe. Oh, does not dodge out John Cena. Oh, I guess it's. Oh, well, now we're we're gonna get yeah, several nice. claw hits. Uh, we've got at least at least one, um, two with the blitz, and we'll have a mighty blow from the ex-wife. Uh, I would imagine as well. Oh no, well, there's nobody standing up. Thought that pest. I thought John Cena was standing <laughs> up. I guess I just couldn't see him. John Cena hasn't stood up in a very long time. <laughs> I reroll this. I would go full breed. He disagrees. No. He gets another Claw Mighty Blow hit in his defense. Yeah. That could have been another Claw Mighty Blow hit on the Undertaker. Incoming death! Not dead. It's no. stun. Just a stun. There you go. Dead is for Nurgle Warriors, Ben. Pestigors only gets stuns. The reason I would have liked to see him reroll it is because he could then get another assist. Oh, actually, no, he's out of routers now. Never mind. No John Cena foul. Yeah, he's got a bunch of knocked out routers. Oh, I guess that's why John Cena also stayed on the floor. So yeah. That makes sense. Now you foul with the edgy five piece, right? Foul with the beast of nerves. Yeah. Oh, not even gonna see a blitz. We did. Oh, we saw the blitz. Oh, did he blitz? Oh, the bearded, the bearded aunt blitzed and failed the, got the both down that you said you'd reroll. Oh, right. I thought that was just a normal block. No, oh, that was a blitz. Now, do you throw a greed block here? I mean, I think you do. You've got claw. That's um, how you do. I think you, you, you maximize the claw, claw hits. Hit. I would take a free claw hit. You can blitz with Triple H, I think. Or John Cena, I should say. Yeah, he's got a few dice on the ex-girlfriend. And he's going to take it. I don't blame him. Oh, no, he's going to oh. hit the Nurgle Warrior. I... Uh, he could... Oh, he might hit the... He could blitz the... the oh, he's going for the ex-wife, yeah. He, he can get a two die here. Just needs one more assist. And I imagine this is it. 
And that's only a push. The ex-wife is fine. And it is 1-0 to A-Grain, but it's hard to call it a victory of a half. Unless these that KO hurts. rolls. I mean, these KO rolls are going to be huge, but uh, Metal has a pretty full ben or a pretty full team either way. Well, we'll see what the KO rolls do, I guess. I won't skip animations, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, because we don't skip animations for the, the viewers, and then you get ahead and you spoil things because you're bad at this. Two deaths. Well, I can tell you. Uh, <laughs> one, though he stay, stays knocked out despite two babes, which is really funny. Wow! But only one comes back from metal too. It is uh, the Pestorvo, which is nice. It's true, yeah. but he does not have his block guard uh, Nurgle Warrior. Which well, is, I mean, yeah. we're gonna get another shot. It's this is not the yeah. half, right? We're gonna He's get, get rotter hits here. Yeah, we'll get some rudder hits and. Um, then uh, we'll get another shot at waking up those guys. If Randy Orton stays it again after being a two plus KO wake up, it'd be very surprising. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll take the bet. Randy Orton. If anyone was gonna snake it, it's Randy Orton. Let's be honest. The RKO. Got KO right in the name. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I should be proud or, like, upset that I know all these wrestling things. Oh, and it's a blizzard. From rain to a blizzard. Mm. I think that's good for Metal, though. I don't know. With the Achi 5, he wasn't afraid of the rain. The GFIs are a bit more of a problem. Oh, yeah, this is GFIs yeah. now. Mm. I mean, I don't think Metal is too sad either way. Uh, no. Oh. Well Injured. Oh, there goes my plan. God damn it. Uh, it's a decay. Is it a debt? No, it's just too badly hurt. No. Damn it. Okay, the injury boxes are three KOs for metal here and two sent offs. And uh, A Green now has a KO, an injured zombie, and two dead, straight up dead Nurgle Warriors. D E D dead. Metal not making that a three dice. I don't like that. He could just brought a rudder around. He's got another three, or no, he could have done a three dice. And it's not making that a three dice either. Nope. It turns out not to matter. There's an, another KO. Not that the KOs matter. Yeah. Frenzy Boy finds a knockdown. He finds a break. But only a stun. I suppose that that's, a, that's an argument for the Blizzard Gerber. 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 I'm gonna keep doing it. It's it, there's an, there's an E and an A. It's bear. I've never seen him. I wouldn't call him a bear. That's true. I don't know. He might be offended by that. You go on the other hand. You're enough for a big yeah. gang. I, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I would be a bear. I suppose. Macedonia comes in for a stomp. Eh, might as well. We've got a huge bench. Matt's a cast. Injured and decay. Is it dead? Nope. Nope. No. Minus Agi. Still removing players because there wasn't there was some bench for A Green, but not a ton, if I recall correctly. Yep, A Green is down to ten players if both KOs wake up now. Good pass, no pass. Aww. God, you guys are so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that Look at that! A lot of ones. Look at that nonsense. That was like several ones in a row. Those are KO ones. I don't know what you're doing, Metal. And to, to quote the like Scottish twins, I guess would be nice pass, idiot. <laughs> what a cash box! And the oh, dirty man. player stays out. He snaked it. I said he was. Oh my wow. god. Wow. That's unbelievable. Ooh, and unbelievable, Jeffrey. Oh. The Warriors back. This is I, not looking. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Edge got a broken neck, which is kind of morbid because that actually happened to <laughs> Edge <laughs> in yeah. real life. Uh. <laughs> it might be all apple pies. Look at this. That was <laughs> cosplaying as a rotter right now. Yeah. 
God damn it, Randy Orton. You're a failure. Everyone hates you. <laughs> this is going to be brutal for a -Grain. Yeah, it's going to be a hard half. He has to put uh, an important player on the line now because he doesn't have that rotter. Yeah, you go yeah, for the, the they, beast, uh, I guess. Yeah. Even even if the beast dies, he's still fairly good as a rookie, um, honestly. <laughs> Whereas yeah. everybody else needs levels. But when it's come down to that, which player is it okay if I need to buy a new one? Uh, you're not in a good spot. Nope. I mean, Randy Orton can be classified as a failure because he's failed two two-plus rolls now to come back in. There is a wizard, which is true. So Metal's going to have to be probably more aggressive um, than he wants to be to either force that yeah, wizard I mean, out or to score that's early. That's why I felt the blizzard was more impactful than the rain. Sure, there's a if he can knock out this Agi 5 piece with the lightning bolt, that becomes incredibly hard for Metal, but... He's gonna have to hustle a bit, and uh, that might be hard in the blizzard. It's not necessarily hustling to like score early. It's more to be like if you try to score on like turn fifteen, your opponent just lightning bolts you, and then things could be bad if you get unlucky. So you try to score earlier than that. And with this many players down, it shouldn't be too hard to mount a defense if you still give two or three turns. Um, Middle has a claw mighty blow hit on Hulk Hogan right now for free. Could even surf him if you wanted to. Uh, oh, I missed Zinj, thanks to the follow, and uh, Ramaset. And Agreen actually set up so that if there's a quick snap here, then that's two more free hits on Ric Flair and on Hulk Hogan. We're, I don't like that at all. He should have been one more back. We're 15 away from 200. Yeah. Getting close. I, I really don't like this setup at all, at all from Agreen. Yeah, it's very... Oh. And there's a nice weather. All that talk about the weather. Yeah. It's a good That's kick, a though. Super deep yeah. kick. It's exactly what, uh... Exactly what Randy Orton probably would have done if he wasn't laying on his ass. <laughs> no knockdown of a beast. Nope. Get another shot, but... Yeah. Or we don't. Not stand I, I don't. I was gonna say you probably don't take the stand yeah. firm because then you're not taking another claw mighty blow. You should have hit one of the routers first, I think. Oh, metal's not pushing them along the line for more hits. I think he wants to be able to reposition the beast to mark up some low strength flares. Yeah. Crunch. No claw, no mighty blow, no problem. Shawn Michaels goes down anyway. Sweet chin music, kind of appropriate. The uh, Nurgle Warrior kicked him in the Hulk face. Hogan's taking Claw Mighty Blow. Uh oh. He's, oh, he's only stunned. He's gonna get his head stepped on, though, I think. Always stunned. Not this turn, probably, but I would expect it next turn. Yeah. You got a couple of Rodders over here. Yeah, 1 0 is still on the table, certainly. Yeah, Travel Scrabble, I was saying, the kick is excellent. It really delays Metal's advance, so. Will it be enough? Hard to say. It's a start. Also, those LOS blocks going largely uh, uh, painlessly, I hope, a little bit. Where is Metal putting this beast now? Um, it's a good question. Um, he's he's too plus far away. So he could put it on uh, could put it on the Russell beast. For, for oh yeah, he's plus movement. Uh, that is a that is a pass. Mm -hmm. I think he's trying to oh. get a level on his Mighty Blow guy. Uh, or to get it away so it couldn't be my bolted into the crowd, but that... Uh... I wouldn't have bolted here, though. I think that's more so... No, I don't think so either. When the bolt but... comes, he has the agility 5 to recover. Yeah. I like that. So a pass is probably unnecessary. So he's just saying, I'll carry on the Mighty Blow so the bolt is less attractive? Yeah. Well, also so that if you do bolt, attack. then the, the edgy 5 is still free to just jump in and pick up the ball, kind of regardless of where it scatters. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. We're only Just giving up one there. claw hit this turn because nobody is based up, and it is impotent. Mighty push. Uh, Remus, at the TV differential was about 350, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, around there. Uh, Spoony Bard, thanks for the follow. The green doesn't bring in help for the Undertaker. You can get Surf here pretty easily. Uh, yeah. We've got the Frenzy piece available. Just needs one push from uh, B.O. Spray from his sister. And then uh, Socks from the Wife sends him into the crowd. And that leaves yeah. uh, Agarin with one Nurgle Warrior, uh, which is not really ideal. Definitely not. That makes it more difficult because he's going to have to go. Um, the, the assists are harder to get in appropriate places now, I guess, but still easily doable. I think he's probably going to bring in Ric Flair. Uh, he could also use the ex-girlfriend. Maybe he's just, yeah, maybe he's inviting the surf on the Undertaker because we know how that goes. That's true. The Undertaker <laughs> is unsurfable. Have you tried to push a man that large? No. Then you've never lived. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, uh. I got nothing, guys. Marking up some rotters here, defending Hulk Hogan. Yep, to uh, deny the foul, or deny the easy foul, at least. Yeah. Although, if he does choose not to go for surf, that's now a pretty easy hit on Dwayne Brock Johnson. I mean, you got to follow up on Rey Mysterio when you can still foul. Oh, Rey Mysterio's a good. That's great. Yeah, look at his mask. Booyaka, booyaka, 619. Oh, we're just going for it. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's a fail. Uh, it's a failed GFI in overtime format. And there goes a reel already. No snake, though. He's saying, pick up the ball now, or I score. That that puts him out of range of all of the... Uh, being blitzed by the Nurgle Warriors, except for the Bearded Oct, who would have to make two GFIs for it. I mean, I or still think you... one and sits on him. I still think you try to surf the Undertaker, because it's like, you can just pick up with... If you're afraid of uh, Ric Flair, you just pick up with boxes from your mom. It's not like he's going to fail. Doing this, Although that, which makes sense. Yeah, that surf is now kind of off the table. Ooh. It also means that uh, socks from the Um. Yeah, there's nobody who's really capable of getting a blitz on that uh, on Ric Flair unless you double GFI with the bearded aunt. Or just uh, use granny sweater. Granny sweater, yeah. <laughs> We're going to see going the for the uh, for John Cena instead. That's true. Granny's knitted Trying sweater. Trying to kill the meme, he fails. Oh. There's always awkward silences after I say basically anything. <laughs> Partially because I think neither of the people in the channel with me get the references. I used to watch a lot of wrestling when I was a kid, but the uh, the memes have faded. Yeah, uh, I mean, so my brother used to watch, my younger brother used to watch a lot of wrestling, so, like, I re their memes are fresh, because he's, like, six years younger than me, and he watched a lot of wrestling in that, like, 10 to 13 period where all male children watch wrestling, so I was, like, eight, 18 at the time, <laughs> so now I remember, tradition. basically, I mean, every every male child is interested in professional wrestling, like, at the age of 10. Some people stick with it, some people don't, but it's like, you know, it's guaranteed that everybody is interested in it at a young age. Like, come on. Metal might just not try to pick up this turn. I mean, if you pick up, that's getting bolted, I would imagine, and then he goes for this pickup. I don't oh, know, so with the Agi 5 pickup. What? And the handoff again. Handoff, okay, I like this. Yeah. And now he can go, he can go stand next to the beast and the uh, and mother in law. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, to deny yeah. the, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Got a little bit of a guard cage going on. Otherwise, yeah, you bolt that, you try to run it in, make it two to zero. That's a, it's a tougher ask for metal to deal with. I said 10 to 13, you know, like, it's, it's that age range. I don't know what the Agi 5 pickup was all about, though. It was uh, a 2 plus 3 plus instead of just a 3 plus, so I'm not really sure. I um, think that was Metal just changing his mind mid. So what happened there the was action. the three plus catch meant that he only had to do one GFI, all after picking up a ball. Didn't he? Oh, because he would have had to run sideways one square. I, I mean, I yeah, guess. Yeah. So that's it a... was, 
It was a uh, two plus with a reroll, three plus two plus versus three plus two plus two plus no rerolls. It nice. seems slightly better, but it also leaves boxes from your mom way out there. And there's oh, a fireball. fireball. You're baiting out the fireball, I guess. But that this is why we don't fireball. And, and... The my wife just catches it. This yep, is why we don't that's... fireball. Yeah. But metals. Metal is really happy because he just baited out that fireball um, yeah, and is but, in not a bad position after it at all. No, and this yeah, was a great, great result for Metal. Aaron has no recovery from this. I really don't like that fireball. I don't like it either. He metal just metal. needed uh, five knockdowns into five stuns, and then the Metal is a master baiter. Even if the ball scattered into no tackle zones. How is he getting the ball to Ric Flair easily? He has to do a four plus pass, three plus dodge, or a four plus catch, three plus dodge, and get a player in there to make the pass. I really don't like that. No, no, I don't. I don't think it was good. I was very much kidding. <laughs> so now what? We're going to see a blitz from Triple H onto Socks from the Wife. There's like, um, nobody. There isn't really a good. In... Um, yeah, you could use Triple H, I guess. I mean, I, I think. I mean, I suppose you take that because it's an easy ish hit. Not, like, otherwise, yeah. you're aiming for attrition. I mean, I think I would probably take the hit on uh, Socks from Your Wife. There it is. Yeah, here we go. Knockdown. Not good enough. You can re roll this. Can you re roll, yeah. Re -roll. <laughs> So I think he might just be hoping to cause enough chaos that Metal can't make any forward progress. And Ooh. That's an injury. It's a regen. It's a regen, though, I think. Injury. Yeah, it's regen. doesn't matter if Agrain can stop this from going to uh, overtime. That's true. Oh, and the ball and scatters. On the and in range of agility five. Yep. That ball yeah. is still pretty safe. That, that, was a, that was a really good scatter for Metal. Fireballs like fireballs are not always bad. I just think fireball is not a good choice in this situation because everybody on the team is like armor nine or armor eight regen. Like it's gonna be very difficult to actually get anything accomplished with it. Oh yeah, I, mean, I, ate, I ate a fireball last night that was four to four knockdowns, three of the four were removals on skinks. It's <laughs> it's and it's less good. about that, and I think it's more that um the lightning bolt is so valuable here in preventing a, a late touchdown. Like, fireballs aren't always bad, but uh, I think that was a bad fireball. Metal's just now going to stall for overtime, get an easy score, kill the rest of A Green's team, and then go steal the ball if he loses his toss. Yep, but he's got a he's got a score first still. Like, that's still a thing that has to happen. Yeah, but Agreens is committed to going full ham and uh, denying the score. Yeah, if you just willy-nilly fireball gerber but like the point is you t you only fireball when it's a good fireball like right so if only 20 percent of situations where fireballs can be used are good then you just only use it in those 20 percent times right? like yeah but people don't people like take they go oh sometimes fireballs are great so i should just fireball here in case i happen to get six cast and that's why i hate fireballs yeah i mean most of the time, a lightning bolt is better, and I think this is one of the situations where a lightning bolt is it would would have been nicer to hold on to. But yes, yeah, see, like this is the thing: people are always like, "And when fireballs are glorious, they're glorious." But that like is that is false logic to uh, push you towards a fireball. They're like more uh, more risk, more reward, I suppose. But Roll, rolling ten six pluses in a decision. row is glorious, but it's also not a good choice. Yes, <laughs> if you're if you're in a position where that's the only way you win the game, then yeah. They can be good. They can be bad. They're more often bad than good. Like, we can leave it there. That doesn't change anything. That just means Hulk Hogan's just going to get hit in the face now. That claw mighty blow. You take that hit. Well, the question is, what do you do about John Cena? Oh, my, oh. Oh my God. You pick up the ball. There you go. That'll... Rey Mysterio, what the fuck? 619. Just throwing some casual dice. Where does that ball go, though? Because he can't dodge out with it. He can't really pass that. He's going to get popped. 
yeah, I mean, again, he's just going to delay, or he's trying to delay, I should say. That was a... Uh... Oh, yep, throwing some... Throw, throw some more sixes. You know what? I'm One of these days, I'm going to see Gerber use a fireball, and I will give him no end of shit over it, just because of the like <laughs> the amount of hatred he puts in chat about fireballs. Nah. One of these days, you're going to yeah. use one, and then you'll never hear the end of it from me. I mean, I feel like that's the same way with me. If I ever use a fireball, you're never going to let me hear the end of it. My my fireballs have been better than 100% of my lightning bolts. That's because you always roll a one. <laughs> yep. I, I, have, I have used lightning bolt, I think, th four times in the history of my, like, Blood Bowl career because I haven't actually been playing that long. And three of those times, it's been a one. Oh, really Ooh, stupid. stupid. You relied on it, and it worked. Uh, so now we're going to see a blitz, I imagine, on Rey Mysterio. But it's got to come from the edgy five. Yeah, probably. He, he already stood up this Nurgle warrior, so he doesn't have that as an option. This is suddenly a much scarier position for metal. I, I would have liked keeping mother-in-law as a backup blitzer in case this really stupid went wrong. That's probably the best result for him, though, both down. Yeah, to prevent the push. And, and I'll you, take and that ball. There you go. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy. All according to plan. There you go. Gengar used a fireball. You're terrible at this game. You've used a fireball. You're the worst. I mean, Gerber used a fireball against Gengar. <laughs> You're the worst. You're terrible. Super bad at this game because you used a fireball. Sorry. It's forever now. I like what we've evolved to after a half an hour of casting. <laughs> I think you have to reroll that, yeah. Even then, this ball's not going to be particularly safe. You can still get around the side with uh, Ric Flair. For yeah. No, you just throw another you throw another six, and you dodge John Cena in for a two die. Boom. It's, hey, it's only a four. It's only a four. Doesn't matter. It's going to be a six. That's the point. <laughs> oh, I see. He's got an out, Ben. What are you going to oh. do now? Nah, he used a fireball at any point in his career. Therefore, he's terrible. Terrible for nothing. You can nothing. Nothing you, you can do. You can't watch that stink up, Gerber. Captain How do you even three. manage to win, Rel or a G man? Doesn't matter. History lasts forever. Here comes the blitz on boxes from your mom. And Matt just pushes, and he re-rolls it. Uh, I, I, I agree with the re-roll. I would here. take the re-roll, I think. The problem is it leaves him with zero. Tackle, looking for a good scatter. He's on zero, but scoring That is smart. not a good zero, or not a good scatter. Yeah. It's not a bad scatter. Yeah, but it's not a good scatter. It's, a, get the it's ball a mixed now? scatter. Pick up with Triple H and throw in a bunch of disturbing presence to someone else in disturbing presence, and then... Pray? Yeah, casual three plus dodge, four plus pickup. I like it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you just go for it, right? Like you're down Nurgle Warriors. If you can score now, you win, really, because there's no way Metal is tying it up in like five I mean, turns. You stall out a few more turns, you win. I mean, even if you can just score now or in like next turn, you win, right? Like if you can, I would. You're already down two Nurgle Warriors. I think you just throw like we're in Vampire Wood Elf mode here now. Right, throw dumb dice, and if they work, you win. And if not, well, you probably weren't going to win anyway. If he does win, what kind of a team is he going to have for next game, though? Not the best one. He'll have a team okay. still. So if he goes for a three plus dodge, four plus pickup, three plus dodge, he can make one GFI to get out of disturbing presence. And if he puts John Cena in the end zone with one GFI and a dodge before that. He can score this turn. He has no rerolls for any of this. Yeah, but... th three, three plus two plus to put John Cena in the uh, in the end zone. I think he's looking to hit um, the mother-in-law with John Cena. He's got a two die block right now. And then we've got three plus, um, four, four plus, three plus two plus out of uh, to pick up the ball and get out of a disturbing presence. And then we have the like three plus three plus. Ooh, oh, to but score. foul appearance. That hurts. Metal's foul appearance has been on point. He gets another hit on the overlaw, but that's still, that hurts. 
Which no, is... it's it's not like vamps in general. It's it's that there's always a point in a vampire game where you've sort of run out of thralls or something, and it's like, well, I've got to just throw dice and hope, and sometimes it works. Yeah. It's a uh, if I if I blood less here, I lose. Is is something that happens on a non-trivial amount of plays. Yeah, so metal's just gonna dodge out and pick up that ball. Yep. It's, I mean, oh, yeah, it's only one tackle zone, so that is a two plus two plus. Yep. Yep. You don't even need to blitz off the. Uh... No, but you take the easy box Johnson, first, yeah. probably. Yep. Now we got to hit on Dwayne for Rock Johnson from the mother in law if he takes it. Or on Hulk Hogan. I think I'd hit Hulk Hogan, though. Hulk Hogan is the priority hit here, for sure. Yeah. Take that hit on Hulk Hogan. Um, and then you'd probably try to pick up the ball with boxes from your mom, because then you'd have some free players that you could use to keep him safe afterwards with uh, the beast yeah. and uh, um, oh, hammer, the, hammered bridesmaids and or, granny's yeah. knitted sweater. I'm going to take the blitz. Here comes to... a hit on the Undertaker. Oh. Two That's dice. Not good. Undertaker says no. He can hit with a wrestler, though. Yeah, and he still has the option of just the dodge if he has to anyway. Uh, the wrestle, I mean, it's good enough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, it doesn't actually the make the rolls any easier, but... Uh, it makes the pickup a 2-plus instead of a 3-plus. Oh, it was already 2-plus, plus, yeah. No, yeah, so that changes five, nothing. Man. Changes nothing. Was just probably trying to hit a good player. Uh, I imagine we see the boxes from your mom play now. That's oh, not good. Fails the dodge. Reroll you reroll that a million percent. That was out of tackle. No, oh, that could be so. That's oh, that scatter is brilliant. Um, scatter. That metal is so happy with that scatter. Like that was the <laughs> worst. That was the darkest timeline, because that was about to be like, oh, bad scatter. I score, you lose. Uh, but that scatter saves his bacon. He didn't take the hit of Hulk Hogan. Like if that if that scatter had been just in the opposite direction, um, that's a three plus into winning the game for Agri. Yeah. And you take that. That was a scary snake eye. Wow. My heart. <laughs> my my <laughs> little heart. <laughs> uh, now, can you scatter this? Not easily. Mm. No, you can't. Uh, you really. can't use the ex-wife because stand firm. Uh, you're going to have to hit the ex-girlfriend is your only option. And you're gonna have to blitz to do that, and you don't have a good person to blitz who's free without dodges. Sure, Triple H throws a five plus dodge. Um, if you're all in, you're all in. Yeah, a, a five plus into an uphill block. Uh, you can make it. Oh no, there's a That's there's only, a. Word it, would, it would be a one die currently. There's a chain push to do it. You uh, put someone next to the ex-wife there, just right below them, and you hit the rotter, the rotter hammered bridesmaids. The chain pushed your warrior onto it. You could three plus dodge out. That's yeah, it's true. One three you could, you yeah, you could push your warrior that, onto it. Uh, you'd have to blitz with a with Rey I mean, Mysterio. So we're, we're gonna have yeah. to three three plus dodge out Triple H, I guess, or um, Paul Kogan and, and put be, him below the ex-wife and no, then you blitz with the rotter. No, he doesn't do it. No. Down to just one reroll left in the game in an overtime format, yeah, that's and rough. there's four turns left. Do we is is there a way that he can get an assist on uh, the ex-wife? I don't think so. There isn't another guard player that's available, is there? No, the closest guard player is Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and he is definitely not getting there. Yeah, yeah, he's about as tied and up as beast, possible. The beast is cut off from even some spicy GFI plays. Yeah, you could. I mean, you could you could one die the beast, I guess, but you you need a knockdown with, and then you. Get the 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 balls and no, no more tackles. Oh, else. Hulk Hogan goes through the blitz. Oh, there we go. Finds yeah, the, the blitz does it. Yeah, finds, there he finds the scatter, and that was a two plus. So, and it's a uh, pretty. That's an open ball. Scatter. Uh, it is, uh, and he's oh, got it right out from tentacles, and he's got it in his hands. Now, do you huck this? Uh, 
you're not in all the it's, it's no. you can't it, it would be a minus many <laughs> if if you had expected that to work you could have dodged um rick flair out and tried to like pass it to him but even then like in all that disturbing presence it's a six right like blitz, it's a blitz oh yeah blitz right he was the guy who blitzed oh, you can't pass on a blitz anyway right i forgot he was the one who did the blitz no um yeah i mean he's really exposed still but he has the ball and like every turn is putting more pressure on metal to score right metals only has one reroll in four turns and we're still in his half um, he doesn't find a knockdown on a sack and Hulk Hogan. He has to use that reroll. Yep, he needs to because he need he needs to get forward, right? He needs to break free and he needs to get forward now, or this becomes a one zero victory for Agreen. Yeah. Yeah, metal is running out of time here. Was that the Undertaker? Casual four plus dodge from Dwayne Barack Johnson. Well, it turns out all of his Nurgle warriors can dodge. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so what are we doing here? I mean, we can try to block um the Undertaker with the Beast, and then that means that the John's uh or. Then we have Bo spray from the sister, like the wrestle strip ball guy who can get to the the ball carrier. It must be said that John Cena is unbreakable. <laughs> it's hard to hit what but you can't see. I know it's it's not surprising that John Cena is unbreakable, but it's worth noting. And there's a uh, one guy running out aiming for the Probably scoring threat. threat. Can be marked up with a rod or GFI currently. Which after you move a beast, you definitely take. Oh, oh, it's the Agi, right? I was like, oh, this is scary, but Agi is a thing. Yep. There's dodge number one. Very much a thing. Dodge, dodge number, number two. two. And that's the pow. Finds the pow. Doesn't have to burn the reroll. Hopefully the scatter goes well and he picks it up. Oh, and it's an that's armor break. That's big. It's huge. He doesn't have the sure hands now. I mean, even just a stun is good there, which it is. But where's this ball going? Um, He's going there. Right. Nope. Five don't don't yeah, reroll that. Mind. Don't reroll it. No. no. Please, metal. No, 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 no. He's thinking about it. Don't do it. Metal, no. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's a really good scatter for metal. Now you just pick it. You can GFI and pick it up. There you go. Yep, there you go. Easy peasy. Agi 5 being bullshit, basically, is what just occurred. Well, I mean, you're going to eat what I think is going to be a double skull. Double skull. There goes the reroll. <laughs> Yep, zero yeah, rerolls left. Zero rerolls for four turns. Zero rerolls for both wrong. teams going into overtime, probably. Oh man. Well, you, there's still a beast in play here. This beast might uh, come say hello to boxes from your mom. Agi no, five doesn't help him get away from tentacles. Nope, it does not. Appearance fail on uh, from metal for the first time. Yeah, and there's no uh, no rerolls anymore. That mark means a beast is probably not going to be no. touching boxes from your mom. The Man, Adrian needs to get someone down to deal with that scoring threat because otherwise Metal's just gonna run it over to him, or even just run past him. Yeah, he can just he can just run through. Um, like this is a two plus dodge into a two plus pass, three plus catch, or two plus two plus three plus with the GFI. I mean, you could blitz with the rotter to get the rotter off of the beast and then put the beast onto. <laughs> you could blitz with the beast on the rotter and just follow up. That's and probably the, the better ball. move. I guess, but that doesn't. Then you, then you need a. You don't have rerolls anyway. No, if you don't get a knockdown, you can just take a push and stay and move forward. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. And Although like, middle should be a loop. I was just it. like, I don't like blitzing with big guys, but I suppose the, in this it's case, it's the yeah. only way you tie up that ag five player. He's just going to two plus dodge out. Like, there's no way you can get enough players on him to make it harder than a two plus unless you use the beast because then tentacles. Yep, Alexa, yeah, take it. Splits. Yeah, you just take the push. You don't follow, and then you move forward, and you put yourself on uh, put yourself on the ball. That makes it more difficult because he's going to basically have to knock down that beast, or he's going to try to Are roll. Are we going to see a dodge from Dwayne the Rock Johnson to put guard next to the beast as well to make this even harder to dislodge? I hope so. 
I think he's gonna. I mean, have anytime to. someone throws a four plus dodge, I am happy. This game is kind of dumb, and I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, Agrian has been playing just balls to the wall the entire half, and I love it. Oh, just casual. Yeah, I cool. know reroll. I it's thought the raider, up. the rotter was gonna go babysit the uh, the beast, but there's already a rotter. I, know, I am so. wrong. Well, the and beast doesn't need to. Daughter. The beast does not need to hit again. He can just stand there and he's doing his job. Yeah. Oh, I just meant that he's gonna get blocked. He's gonna try to block him off, but he just stand firm. Yeah, and metal doesn't have a whole lot of free players to do it with. He's got like the ancient stepmother, but that's only four on five, right? He's gonna need another two assists there. Yeah. I mean, this is why it's scary to to dodge out Dwayne because you'd be freeing up the mother-in-law, who would be more than happy to make the block on the beast. Well, yeah. if you would be making a GFI, you'd probably want to take a block with the beast on the Undertaker. Oh, foul appearance. And there's fell dodge. Now let's see what Metal does with this. Juggernaut is so, here off the field. Oh, instantaneously blitz. Yep. Gets and there's a knockdown. Out. That's enough. This could be... It's good to be overtime. Yeah, because now he can he can get away real easy uh, with yeah, boxes from your mom. Doesn't need to worry about the scoring really threat. Catches. He just he just fall you know he gets the rotter. He can just run down the the uh, right side now. He doesn't need to even go after Granny's nude sweater. Sure, doesn't even need GFIs. Oh, we just go this way, uh, and we still got two turns to make it and plenty of plenty of time. Adrian just cannot catch him now. Nope. No, none of his players are gonna be fast enough. And overtime, I think, heavily favors metal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially if you can get another Kaz or two, which he's trying to get now. Said, this half uh, has John been Cena. very light on casualties. Bonk! John Cena. As John Cena gets knocked out. Uh, yeah. KO isn't too bad for a grain. No. Well, you say that. He's going to get two KO rolls. And, uh... Uh, he has failed 100% of his KO rolls so far, despite having two babes. No, he made no, he one with a rotter, one. just not Randy uh, Orton. Randy yeah. Orton has failed 100%. <laughs> This is a lot of blocks Metal's taking now. Or like uh, getting. I'm going to move the Beast to mark both pest scores here. Yeah, you can get it on both uh, Hulk Hogan and uh, Triple H. He does it. Those are the only speed pieces that are, you know, capable of getting even remotely close to uh, to boxes from your mom. And they're now on tentacles, and we all know how annoying tentacles is. And this is when you wish you had a lightning bolt. Yep, right now. Yep. This is why. I mean, but we could also say, would he be in this position if not for that fireball? <laughs> it's hard to say. True. Eh, yeah, but I'd rather have a lightning bolt. <laughs> well, I obviously agree. Well, the fireball didn't do its job too well. What it did do was force the entire fight to happen pretty deep in Metal's half. And if that had gone the other way... Yeah. The, Even a little bit. The, fire, the fireball did force this sort of scrum happening. I pointed at my screen like you guys can see. This sort of scrum <laughs> that's happening in yeah, Metal's you know, half. That one right there. It he put... can mark up the ball carrier now. He... No. Oh, yeah, no, he who can't. cares? He's one movement short. Um, it, like, we wouldn't have had this big fight that put Metal under so much pressure if it wasn't for the fireball, probably. But like then again, Metal still won. Or, is still, or like won the fight, basically. So yeah. it's not really... Uh... So if he runs forward here and throws some GFIs, no, I mean, the Nurgle Warrior can catch him. Yeah. I don't think there's any point in risking your players. You're not going to be able to deny this score. He disagrees. If a beast stands up, then he's going to have a harder time getting the warrior over there. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a 50-50. It's a big if. I mean, the bad news um, is... Uh, he can you know, dodge out with the Pestagore and put him next to the Beast to wait to uh, make that a 2+. plus. But that is... No, well, that's. I mean, that's pretty likely. It's a strength 4 Pestagore. Um, and and it's good. The bad news is boxers from your mom can't really get away from Triple H now. Like, Triple H can't hit this turn. But no matter what boxers from your mom does, he's probably going to get a hit by Triple H next turn. Um, and that's, you know, a reasonable shot at a knockdown. Unless metal can do something. If, you're, if you're metal here, do you blitz Triple H with the ball and then try to get a knockdown that way and keep running? He could blitz with the ex-wife on a GFI. Or even just mark him with tentacles. Uh, yeah, you probably mark him with tentacles. 
It's true. You because you have, the, you have the movement, up. yeah. No, you don't free anyone up, it's good. No, you just yeah. move them yeah. down. Um, so you do that. Anything you can do to prevent something that could cause a turnover because you have no rerolls is... Metal, Metal feels so very smug about his plus movement right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather put... I'd rather zero reroll, put the tentacles on him because he's got to both pass the tentacles and a dodge with zero rerolls to get close to you rather than I mean, try to blitz. I mean, just so we're clear, he's going to do it, but... Yes, that is the best play, I think. And I mean, mm-hmm. even then, you're taking a two die that's a pow fish without fishing for pals without a reroll, so. Triple H doesn't have tackle, actually, yeah, so. It would, would not even be a good sack, even if he could. But stranger things have happened. Pals have been rolled. Nurgle Warriors have died. We're going to see a mighty blowless hit from Dwayne the Rock Jackson on mother in law here. Jackson. I imagine. I, yeah, I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, at least do you, do you throw a five plus Undertaker dodge to tie up the ex wife? Yeah, he passes no. all of his dodges. No, it's fine. Mind. Well, now you don't. Yeah. I was going to say, you had a five plus Undertaker dodge. That Undertaker always easy. passes five plus dodges. Um, yeah, so Metal's going to take his beast and he's going to put him right here. <laughs> oh, that would have been such a beautiful, really stupid. Like, just uh, ended all of the smugness for Metal. <laughs> t- durr, God. Durr. And then uh, we probably move boxes from your mom off to space. Move Granny's knitted sweater up a bit just in case something horrible happens. Well, you're not going to GFI uh, with boxers, so you just roll Granny's that first. Knitted sweater's been knocked down. Oh, she, yeah, they, she can get into... Um, you can get into scoring range with some GFIs. Yeah, you, you just don't want to roll GFIs if you don't need to. That's a stun daughter. Metal has not been getting the Kazes this half. It's yes, true. Going One square blitz. away from the sidelines does mean that a Successful blitz here could see it into the crowd. Claw well, made a blow. I don't think there's any like the. It's really unlike. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you were playing optimally. You would have moved one square to the left there, but it's a pretty minor change. Yeah. but I think it's it's worth doing because it removes that infinitesimally small chance that that happens. I can't imagine like it's going to be pretty unlucky for the um the beast to be able to or the pestigore to make it out of the beast with the tentacles dodge and then into a double gfi block with zero rerolls or no no gfis uh, but zero rerolls still for the tentacles and the dodge and the block where you're pow fishing and there are so few players in the field i think we're about to see Dwayne Barack johnson get a kick in the head Yep, we've got the hammer bridesmaids. Um, we all know how dangerous they can be. Nope, he just not. does not stand up the hammered bridesmaids at all. With Metal's ridiculous bench, I really don't like not seeing a foul here. Me either, especially... I'd like I really don't like just not standing up the rotter. Like, what can he do on the floor? Yeah. Nothing right now? It's not like he's in danger of getting hit. He might as well stand it up at least. Beast is marked, and here comes oh, the blitz. Tentacles oh, fail. Oh. Metal oh. safe. And we're going to overtime, folks. Um, and the beast really. This, let me have. I'll hover over tentacles for you, random boy, so you can see it. But basically, it's uh, you roll. You roll strength at each other, and uh, or you roll two d six plus minus strength, and if it's five or less, then you get stuck. So. And this game's going to overtime. Horns doesn't affect it because Horns specifically states that it only adds to your strength during blocking actions, so that's why it doesn't impact the tentacles roll. Yeah. And it's it's like 2d6. It's a 2d6 roll that you have to beat 5 after you subtract the difference, or add the difference between your strength and the tentacles player's strength. Let's so see how these KO rolls go. That's why, um... If he stays out, I swear to god. Oh no, they're both back. Is that Randy Orton that still stayed out? No, he's no. Oh, okay. No, we're good. You're thinking that's that's metal team. Oh, cellophane, yeah. So metal has two bench and uh, a green does not. Um, the that's so why. A green is back up to ten. That's not too bad. T- 
tentacles on strength uh, five is amazing. Tentacles on strength four is meh. Tentacles on strength three is just kind of bad because most players are strength three, so all they have to do is get a six plus with two d six, which is pretty easy. I think it's a five plus actually. It's it's it's, it's bigger than five, so they need a six or higher. Metal protecting the players. Um, it's safe to do so, I think. How many players does uh, Agrian have left? Is it less than 11? It is less than uh, 11. Yeah, so it is, yes. it's not possible for him to one turn. I think you need all That's 11. That's true. He's got a plus movement Pestigor. Uh, oh, there is a plus movement Pestigor. Yeah. There's, you need all 11 players to, to one turn with movement 6, but he's got movement 7. Baby food is yelling at you again. Loot grip is awful. <laughs> Loot grip is so bad. I mean, loot grip is good against ogres because then you just throw them on snotlings, but why aren't you just hitting with snotlings? Yeah. <laughs> Anything strength three tentacles can do, just punching the thing that cares about strength three tentacles. Oh, Metal gets a reroll. That's so big. Oh. Gross. Because Royal Rumbles rolled a, rolled a one despite their plus one fame. Okay, well, he's not. He's bad in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> Crunch. I love an as you'd expect. It's just made of steel, though. I mean, yeah, he has a great name. That's true. Lude grip whip arm is pretty good. It's <laughs> descriptive. I like I like Max Bleeding Ripper too, though. That's kind of fun. Lord Borak the Despoiler. I like him too. Oh yeah, Gerber yeah. <laughs> says the same thing. That is a good name. Again, Agrian here didn't make any of these hits three dice, so we're all two dice until now he's setting up one with pest score. Um, I mean, I don't know. It turns out to have not mattered, but, I mean, it could have. He found him in knockdowns, but yeah, one or nine still happen and everything else. Zombies I'm holding firm. Pretty big fan of Silly Billy. All, all, um, all of the old lizard uh, star, like all the old lizard names are weird puns. Um, like the Warhammer Fantasy ones from forever ago had dumb names like Tic Tac Toe was a wizard or whatever overtime let's see who wins the toss I mean I guess it doesn't really matter <laughs> to be honest Yeah. I mean there's a chance oh. if Agrain wins the toss yeah, yeah, he still has a chance here. He's got his strength four. Yeah, he I mean he's li he's li he doesn't have a lot of pitch uh, presence because he's lost two Nurgle warriors. But, but uh, with metal, also has a reroll, right? Is the other big thing. Yeah, it just means you have to throw dice. Oh, metal no, won like the, metal toss. Wins the toss. <laughs> yep. So winning the toss with a reroll and a player advantage, uh, we're gonna have to see some nonsense, I think, for Agrain to pull this out, but. This, we, is, this is where I believe we say this is Metal's game to lose. I think that's the... That, that's a good way of putting it, I guess. That someone gave me. Uh, we've got... I mean, you never know. We've got... We've got uh, We've got John Cena. John Cena. John Cena can do some stuff. He's pulled out wins before. I think it's time for a to break out the Flying V. <laughs> this isn't Mighty Ducks. Everything is Duck, Mighty Ducks. Ducks fly together. Use the Triple Deke. Again, Agrian is setting up one away from the line of scrimmage, giving up potential quick snap hits here. Big rat. What's the non cyanide name for big rat? Random boy saying it's head splitter. I I don't know enough to disagree with him. Yep, head splitter. I just like big rat. Yeah, I mean this is actually is pretty close to flying. Bee. Uh, yeah, just head splitter is the name.
I have never seen Big Rat induced. I, I also like, like I like Skitter stuff. Stab Stab because it's a fun name. Yeah. I mean, he's also like just a way to get five gutter runners on the pitch, which is kind of good regardless of whether you use the stab or not. But uh, it's also a fun name. Ducks fly together. You have you have you not seen the Mighty Ducks movies? You better have. You're Canadian. It's imp required childhood viewing. I don't know. Cake is from like southern Ontario. That's not real Canada. I actually don't know if he's from there. I just know he lives there. Good, thank you. The Bash Brothers. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. You just named the trees, uh, Fulton Reed and what's the other guy's name? Oh man, that's gonna drive me nuts. We're getting very Canadian up in here. There's the quick snap. That's what I was talking about. That's free hits on two players. Welcome to Block and Baby Surf City on uh, Ric Flair here. Maybe, sir. Dean Portman. I think you surf Hulk Hogan if you can. Do you have the surfer? Oh, no, the surfer no. got cast, didn't yeah, he? Was, no, the surfer's on the other end of the pitch. He's just going to take a claw mighty blow hit on Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah, the surfer's on the ball. You name it's it. exactly what I knew would happen. Got it. Yeah, this is a uh, nail in the coffin for what was already a pretty rough uh, setup for A grade. Cake eater. I've been thinking about Mighty Ducks the last, like, 40 seconds. I'm glad you guys are carrying this for me. <laughs> Thanks for that update. <laughs> yeah, but we petitioned to rename all star players Big Something. Yeah. That was my knuckle puck. No, it's even from Hulk Hogan. Just take this random child who plays street hockey in a parking lot and be like, yeah, sure, you're good enough to be on Team USA. That's fine. Come on in. <laughs> what? Times were hard. That film, yeah, there are three of them. Go watch all three of them. Uh, and by that, I mean no. don't. They're honestly not very good. <laughs> <laughs> they're, pretty, they're pretty trash. <laughs> They're, they're, if they're, we're being frank, they were great as a ten-year-old boy. Um, they're they're a cultural treasure and milestone, but um, yeah, don't. Metal playing defensively here makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, nineties child sports movies, pretty much. Yeah, we saw three claw mighty blow hit or two, I and mean, just one normal hit and no damage. It's a shame. But they feature oh, still... Emilio Estevez. They feature Video spray from his sister comes in to do what the rest of the nerve can and knocks down the Undertaker. Sandlot is good. Sandlot's great. Sandlot is effectively superior, but it's all it, it's inherently inferior because it's about baseball instead. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Oh, Metal cannot find the armor breaks. No damage from any of his blocks here. That's a shame. I guess the ex-wife is just going to hang out. Yep, yeah, he's fine there. Or she's fine there. Denying the Claw Mighty Blow piling on hit from John Cena by marking it up with this sacrificial rotter. Hammered Bridesmaids has been very uh, dirty so far. And foul on... Ugh, Logan. I don't like that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> the Hammered Bridesmaids have been really dirty so far. I said sturdy. Oh, either way, it's bad. <laughs> it sounds pretty bad. I I work in a particular business. I don't hear these things anymore. <laughs> if you're Agrin here, how do you even apply pressure? To this, he doesn't have many options right now. I feel like uh, 
Oh yeah, that came out, mm. didn't it? I'll have to give it. A, I love the Ocean's Eleven, Twelve, Thirteen movies. I'll have to give eight a shot. Oh, I didn't know it was out. I gotta see that. I still haven't seen Deadpool. I gotta get on that. Me either. Yeah, I haven't seen any movie in. I haven't seen Infinity War, man. I still have to do that too. Oh, no, I, I, so I saw Infinity War, but I haven't seen the new Star Wars yet. I haven't seen the new Star Wars either. No, we should go together, Ben. Yeah. Let's meet in the middle somewhere in New Brunswick. No, I would do anything to avoid New Brunswick. <laughs> I see how it is. New Brunswick is the worst. I mean, that might be true in the same way that uh, the Mighty Ducks movies are bad is true. But... Yeah. So we booked the crap out of John Cena next turn. Uh, yeah, I would imagine so. Beast on beast action, going nowhere. You look each other a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, over time is when things start to get sloppy. Things always get sloppy when I'm involved. I like the d dead silence after that. <laughs> there is nothing you can the say. The best response to that. <laughs> <laughs> there was some sighing off mic, but uh, I didn't yeah. want to validate you. I just shook my head a little. I feed. I feed on your sadness. It's true, he has left himself a little open by committing so hard to this right hand side. Middle having a reroll, whatever he does to get out of this will probably work. I mean, he can really shore up the right side and keep that safe. Yeah. Casual dodge through tentacle. I mean, just casual dodges all over the place. That dodge does mean it's going to be very hard to get rid of John Cena. Although with no disturbing presence on him, I almost wouldn't hate to free up B.O. spray from your mom, or from your sister, and run, run that pest score down the field and master scoring for it now. And there's no one who's going to be able to catch him. Just needs to hit the Undertaker off. It would be quite a pass, though. But I It'd guess you guys don't really care. Crunch? Yeah. I think Triple H is going for that as well. Triple, Triple H, H is knocked H is out. out. As Back good as dead. dead. Yep. Those babes don't help now. Yeah, box from your mom can throw a two plus pass. Uh, you can get another assist in there to free up for Otter. But I think he's just gonna, he's gonna cage. cage. Instead. He's just gonna cage. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, we've got a. a he's gonna have to GFI to do that to get into that cage spot though. He is. Yeah. This is this would be a real sad thing to burn your reroll on, but he's oh, okay. okay. We're safe. Rolled the exact thing he needed. A two. You could take the one die with Russell to secure this cage up, but uh, it's pretty, pretty safe. There's no one really to get in behind here, other than a rotter. I wouldn't hate throwing with GFI with uh, hammered bridesmaids to give an assist on that block, even. I mean, the Nocturnal, I'm not really sure why else Disney would have bought Star Wars. I mean, why does a business do anything? The answer is to make money. Yeah, they're not going to purchase a thing if it's not going to make the money. That's like kind of inherently what businesses do. The Undertaker goes down, and I imagine we step on Hulk Hogan now. I think he he might just use it to shore up the cage corner. Yeah, he he doesn't care too much about Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. and this turn has gone very well for Metal. He is in full control of this right hand side of the pitch. Beast is still there being annoying. He's got lots of players in front of the uh, cage to stop them from screening this off too easily. And it's going to be tough for A-Grain to do anything about this. 
I mean, as long yeah. as they make enough money off the ones that people do go to see before they lose people's trust, then or make more money than it costs them to buy Star Wars, then they're already ahead. They've made money. They don't care. Problem solved. <laughs> right? Like it's it's an investment. If they make more, if they get a return from their investment, they're happy. And Star Wars does currently print money, though I can, yeah, I mean, like, businesses are concerned with the, um, the degradation of goodwill that comes from making shitty content. Like, that is something that will concern them because then the value of their investment falls. So, yeah, if they keep pumping out shitty movies, eventually they'll probably, you know, get better. Yeah, but people will have a lot of brand loyalty to Star Wars, right? It's going to take a lot for people to, to not a, want to watch there's it. There's a lot of goodwill there. Yes. Yeah, it's going to take a lot for people to stop going to see them, and by then they've probably made up the cost that it that they paid for the franchise anyway and made some money off of it. Right? Sure, but they, I don't think Disney is the co- a kind of company that goes in for a quick buck, right? No. They care about long-term investments, so they would, uh, it would, um, it would benefit them to think about these sort of things. And I'm sure they do. Things got very MBA for a minute. Mm, I had an hour long meeting on yes, yes, Friday, so yesterday, uh, about PowerPoint slide formatting. So yeah. I think my life is an hour-long meeting at this point. We, we got about 40 minutes into it until I just pulled out my laptop, made a f- template, turned the screen around, and went, can we use this? And everyone went, yes, and then I left. <laughs> Hulk Hogan failed to dodge. I imagine he was going to... Actually, I didn't even know what he was going to do there. He was blitzing now. I think he might have been trying to blitz a corner off, but I mean, even that was a pretty desperate play. So now Metal has pretty much no threats on the ball other than Ric Flair. Uh, Agree. Um, Sorry, yeah, Metal is no threats to his ball. Yes. Is is how I meant to say that, and then I didn't say it like that, so it didn't matter. Got ourselves a nice looking cage. Yep. It's a, it's a nice cage there. To get rid of the Undertaker. It'd be a shame if something would happen to him. Happer. Remember Thunder Otter? We haven't seen very many casualties at all since we started the second half. I mean, death, death, a couple of Rotter injuries, and then nothing. Yeah. Oh, looking to take out John Cena. Will we he find the break. Oh, and KO. KO. Good is Good dead. Enough. Nah, he's safe. I mean, this game is pretty much over. I mean, he's safe, but it's as good as dead for um, overtime, right? He's not coming back. Yeah. So we're going to see a 6-plus cage dive into a red die. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> why not? What else do you do at this point? I mean, if Metal wanted to deny that, he could just move uh, Granny's Knitted Sweater onto it. I don't think he's too worried about it, though. He has no real to worry yeah, about. Yeah, but I mean, it's not likely, but I think you cut it off anyway. And he does. Yep. Uh, still doable with uh, four, four plus, or five plus, six plus, six plus uphill with zero <laughs> reroll. You can do it with a three plus, six plus, two GFIs. If you cut the corner on the BO spray, you can do it with double GFIs <laughs> into a red die uh, with wrestle tackle because he is plus movement. You couldn't do it otherwise. Yep. Three, three plus, six plus, two plus, two plus. Easy. Easy peasy. Do it, I believe. Come on, Ric Flair. Yeah, go for it. 
There's the first. He's no. doing it. Does not make the six plus though. <laughs> he rolled twelve. He rolled the sixes on armor though. <laughs> I mean, if that had worked, I uh, I'd be happy. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it would have. He rolled the four on the six plus problem. dodge, but then the armor was six six, and the injury was four six. <laughs> Adding literal insult to injury. Literally injury to insult. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I guess. Just casually moving around his stunned body. Okay, well, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna step over you a little bit and go forward. <laughs> That was real. That was real stylish, Ric Flair. But I'm just gonna score now, if you don't mind. Yeah, there's no way Agrin can stop I, I, now. I really ha hope sixes. he shouted "woo" when he clicked on that uh, blitz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was really trying to elicit someone screaming that in chat, but I think I failed. I'm sad. Disappointed in all of you. As Claw may do blow on Andre the Giant, but he is Andre's fine. Gone. Andre the Giant is unbreakable. As per usual, there's no casualty. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> a Grain's team has held up uh, remarkably well, other than the uh, two dead rotters. Two dead, two dead warriors. warriors they, were... <laughs> they were definitely Nurgle warriors. Um. Yeah, we have a. I mean, easy four plus six plus. Let's yeah. do. Yeah. F yep. There it is. Instantly locks it in. Yes. Oh, he got it. Oh, this is a push. Oh. oh. He got a pal in there though. Oh, it was close. Oh, oh it was man. so close to being just glorious. What a hero! <laughs> the Undertaker. It's the Undertaker, the Undertaker again. Undertaker. The Undertaker does not fail, guys. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I think Metal beautiful. has to kill him now yeah. and fails a 2 plus dodge. Um, I think Metal has to kill him now out of respect. <laughs> I mean, no, Met no, wait, no, guys, it's gonna be five straight uh, foul appearance fails. Yep. Oh, oh there he goes. Wow. Incoming dead right, Undertaker. Yep. Yeah, the Undertaker. Dead. It's a break. No, it's not stunned. Just oh. foul him. If you don't um, risk game. foul the Undertaker, then you have no balls. <laughs> He hasn't scored yet. Metal, don't actually do it. Do it. M Metal, is con Metal is probably typing GG, but I hope he's considering yeah. <laughs> yeah, again, Metal doesn't take the three dice. He could have made it really easily. Three dice on strength four. Here we, we go. Need, uh, strength nine. nine. Pretty serious. There's a score, and Metal is moving on to the round of eight. Yep. And Earns himself a hype video. Go, oh, get a hype video. Um, yeah, uh, he is going to be playing the winner of the Infinite Pank Regnan match in, uh, which I believe is tomorrow. Um, yes, it's tomorrow morning. So we'll find. I'm um, I'm casting that as well. I think. Guys, Randy Orton <laughs> got the MVP. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> uh, uh, the guy who snaked a KO roll. Uh, I am casting that tomorrow morning. Um, so there you go. 30 armor breaks from That's Metal. tomorrow morning with Metal, actually. So. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to get to find out who he's playing. Metal moves on to the round of eight, or the hype video round, as it's known. There we go. That was a game. That was certainly a that game. That was a game. That was a hell of a game. Su surprisingly, like, very concentrated SPP. <laughs> yeah. A lot of injuries, but it... They all came from like the same players. <laughs> oh man! Uh, that, okay, well there you go. <laughs> Jesus. It's the best I can really say, I guess. That was a game. Um, so yeah, metal is either going to play more Nurgle, um, or orcs. I think he's much more okay with one of those matchups than the other. Yeah, I mean either way. I don't know what it is. I mean either way, it's not bad, honestly. I mean he's got the claw, mighty blow nonsense to deal with anybody or like any like orcs or nurgle but i think you'd probably rather play uh the team that can't compete with your comedy blow um well there we go that's gonna be that match yeah uh, and thanks for having us folks well played to both coaches that was uh yep. that was a thing
thanks going out once again to my co-hosts, Shadora and Holes. Thanks, thanks for showing up, guys. Thanks for hanging out, and we will see you next time.